<clears throat> Alright, Shalom on Israel. This is a brother of War Bob coming back to you again with another lesson. Before I kick it off, I'm gonna give all glory and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful and humble elect that's out there doing this work in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the planet Earth. Uh, Shalom to you sincere Aquathium that are out there that are subscribed to this channel as well and uh, that are keeping the faith. All right. And so what I want to go into today is just talking about letting not thy heart envy sinners, man. Okay. We'll get caught up in our day to day lives and our daily lives where this world will just get underneath our skin and vex us. And people in this world will vex us, man. To where it'll be a situation to where it may seem like no matter what you do, everybody around you is just doing better than you. You know, or you're constantly losing. And which we know in this kingdom, we're supposed to lose, man. Because this is not our rest. This is our captivity, you know. But you have to continue to keep yourself reminded and keep yourself rooted you know, and keep your faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that the Lord is always going to fight for you and deliver you out of any situation that you're in that's that you know that is um, deemed a hell. Okay. So this scripture that I want to pull first is Proverbs 23, which is uh, "Let not thine heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all day long." And why is that? Okay, because remember what the scripture says, man, seek ye the kingdom first and then everything else shall be added unto you. Okay, because man, we know how it is whenever we're we're trapped in this flesh or we're in want of things or we, we feel like we should we deserve better or we deserve to have something that someone else has got. Okay, or it should have been us or it should have been we, you know, a lot of times that happens on on a person's job or a lot of times it happens in, in school or any kind of competition or or any type of um, <coughs> organization okay where you feel like you may have done better or you should be you should been um, looked at a little bit better than the other you know this is not our kingdom okay so we are not to we're not to envy what the what the center has here man okay and I want to get that word envy real quick, just so we can get a little bit better of an understanding on what we're talking about here. Okay, envy and center. Okay, so it's envy. Strong's age, 7,065. Kana. Kana. All right. And it's to be, it's to envy, to be jealous, be envious, be zealous. Okay. Be jealous of, to be envious of, to be zealous for, to, to excite jealous anger. Okay? Yeah, man. To be to be jealous, basically. <laughs> you know, there's no place for us to be jealous amongst the wicked, man. Why are we gonna be jealous when, you know, we got we serve the highest power? Okay, we serve the, the Alpha and the Omega, the creator of the whole of all things. You know, surely not. Surely not, the Lord will not give us what you know what we need if He will feed the birds and the and the and the, you know, and the animals of this world and, and give unto them. How much more should He not give unto us whom He loves? Okay. And so we got to remember that, man. All right, I got a quick precept. I'm not gonna make this too long. Just wanted to get into it and just bring it out real quick. This is pro. Uh, this is Psalms chapter 37. And um, start at three. And now this is King David talking, man. All right. Actually, before I go into that one, no, nah, I'm gonna go ahead and get it. This is a uh, Psalms 37 and three. It says, "Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed." All right. Because the Lord already knows what you need before you even ask or you even decide to throw up a prayer, man. Okay, a lot of times Jake just forget. Jake gets lost up in the world and get caught up in the moment so much that they just forget to pray. Okay? And then they get in that negative vibe. 
man, this should have been me. I should have got that promotion. I should have got this. I should have got that. You know? Don't worry about those things, man. Because what the Lord has is for you, man. And the Lord ain't going to just overlook you for no, for no nigga, you know? It may not have been something that was for you, okay? It could have been something that could have been your demise, okay? You got to always be thinking three steps ahead in this thing, man. This is chess, not checkers, okay? And this is, um, I'm going to drop down to um, 73, 73rd Psalm, it's a lot. 73rd Psalm, and I'm going to start at 3. And this is, um, here it goes again. It says, For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. For they are not, as, for they are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore pride compasseth them about as chains, as a chain. Violence covered them as a garment. Yeah, man. And that you can see that every day, all day in uh, in the, in Esau, you know, and these Edomites, man. Okay, they walk around like they got an S on their chest all the damn time. You know what I'm saying? Like like nothing in the world bothers them. Like they ain't got a care in the world. No no problems. Everything is all on the up and up, and it just look like ain't nothing phasing them, man. But yeah, meanwhile, <laughs> you going through all kinds of streets. You catching hell. You know? I'm going to continue to read. It says, Therefore pride compasseth them about as a chain, and violence covereth them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness, and they have more than a heart could wish. They have more than heart could wish. You know? And that's, that's, that's true, man, because that's, this, is their, this is their kingdom. They're supposed to be ruling. They're supposed to be on top. They're supposed to have everything. Because this is their kingdom. Okay? You can't get caught up in worldly treasures and worldly pleasures, man. Okay? The will and the will of the Heavenly Father is what's supposed to be done for us Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Not vanity, man. All of this is going to burn. It's all going to come to naught. Okay? You cannot get caught up in America in this bullshit society, man. Our, 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 Jake has been doing this for years And they still doing it to this day That's all they care about Is vanity man Pleasure Okay It's verse 8 They corrupt and speak wickedly Concerning oppression They speak loftily Got a proud tongue Okay. They set their mouth against the heavens And their tongue walketh through the earth Therefore, his people return hither and water a full cup and a, a cup are wrung out to them. And they say, how doth God know? And is there any knowledge in the most high? Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world and they increase in riches. Verily, I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocency. OK, well, that's exactly what I was just going into, man. OK, and that's plain because these guys, I mean. We already know what time it is for the wicked. All right. So for us Israelites, we got to remember, man, we got to remember what we're here for, why we're here, why we're in this thing, man. OK, and I'm going to end with this precept right here. And this is just the point. OK, this is the, the remedy, the cure. All right. This is Proverbs chapter 15 and 16. OK. And it says, better is little with the better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith. Okay? <laughs> I'm gonna read it again. It says, better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith. Alright? Be content with what you have, man. Be content with the Lord has provided with, with, with what the Lord has provided you with, man. And be glad that you in this truth. You got the best thing that you could ever wish for on this place, man. If you in this faith. If you know who Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is, if you serve Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and you keep his commandments. That's that's plenty right there. 
Okay? You've got, you've, that you've got one of the most best or one of the best <coughs> gifts on the planet Earth, if not the. Okay? Better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith. You could have a big old kingdom, big old house, everything you could ever ask for in this place, man. And the Lord could plague your body with sickness and health, health, health issues, you know, or put you in a house with a brolic ass woman and she take all your shit or, or, or and make you a captive in, in, in your own home. There's several different, you know, several different scenarios that I could throw out there like that. But just be mindful, brothers. OK, don't let this place catch you up and have you looking at sinners and being envious, man. All right. And with that, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Again, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.